Oh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with Days Gone on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and uh, I'm feeling a little bit ill at the moment, probably because I've spent the last three-ish weeks being really annoyed and pissed off with everything, so I've probably made myself a little bit run down, and now I've gotten a bit ill. So um, if I'm not too loud in this video, or you have trouble hearing me, I do apologise, I've got a really fucking swollen throat at the moment. It feels, you know, you know you're a uvula. I mean, I ain't got one because I had all my tonsils out when I was younger. But actually, I had my tonsils out whilst I was doing YouTube. I think it was 2014. You may have remembered if you've been here long enough. But yeah, um, it feels like my uvula has randomly reappeared and then swelled up, swelled up the size of my throat. It's, it's a fucking nightmare. I can't swallow properly and I feel like I'm talking like I've got a load of food in my throat. I don't know. I might sound all right to you guys. I don't know how I sound. But to me, I sound... Weird, but yeah, and um, we're back with Days Gone. So what's going on at the moment is we are doing a few different things. One thing we're doing, we are gathering supplies for Weaver, because if I remember correctly, I think this has already been mentioned. If it hasn't been mentioned, then I'm spoiling it, but I think Deacon already mentioned it. But um, Weaver is trying to make some form of napalm so we can burn the fuck out of the hordes of Freakers. Now, as you've seen in this area... They've already been burning practically everything, so them getting napalm, to me, isn't the best thing in the world. But anyway, that's what we're doing. We're helping them get napalm so they can burn the shit out of the Freakers. We're also working with our wife, Sarah, who refuses to leave this camp at the moment because she's busy doing something, so she won't come and just run away with me. She's also working on something. We don't know what she's working on yet because she hasn't told us, but we're currently gathering stuff for her as well. We've also got another guy called uh, Taylor, who uh, joined the army at the same time with us. He is a drug addict, keeps doing stupid shit. In the last video, he managed to get his ear cut off because he was being a moron trying to find drugs. So we're doing stuff involving Taylor as well. And then we've also got a guy, Captain Curry, that is doing like random missions with us sometimes. Captain Curry is all right. And then you've also got uh, Colonel Garrett, which is like the main leader of this entire army. He's all right as well. He's a little bit, a little bit like a crazy religious guy, but he's, he's not too bad at the moment. But yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to head over here for Sarah. We're going to pick up some silicate or silicon or whatever the hell she wants. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to listen to the colonel give a speech. So let's get right into it. Oh dear. Sorry for talking so much. I mean, you would think with my throat being dodgy that I would try and avoid talking too much. But, <laughs> you know, uh, it is what it is, isn't it? I mean, by the time you guys and girls watch this video, I've probably already done a very long channel update. Because at the moment, I'm recording this on the 18th of uh, June. I'm not sure when you guys and girls will be watching this, but today or tomorrow, at the time of recording, obviously, I plan on doing a channel update. Because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about with you guys and girls, you know. Just a lot of things I need to get Taylor. off my chest, Dan. How you doing, buddy? Like I said, man, I've, I've had better days. Uh, <laughs> Hey, I think the bleeding stopped. Oh, no, no, it hasn't. Uh. Uh, help is on the way. If you hang tight, uh, you want me to come back? Wait with you? No, oh, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, really. I'll stop by the infirmary later. Let's see how you're doing now. Hey, I've seen that thing. It's pretty cushy. Way better than being out here, let me tell you. <laughs> seen it too. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. Uh, you got that? Deacon out. But yeah, as I was saying, there's a lot of things I need to get off of my chest, you know, and there's also a, f a bunch of things I need to explain to you guys and girls, because as you've probably seen recently, my Days Gone videos, even though they've not been the worst videos in the world, there's been quite a few times where I've started, you know, going off on a tangent and sharing my feelings and weird things like that, you know, things I don't normally do, you know, I normally keep everything close to my chest, you know, but, oh shit, yeah, I normally keep everything close to my chest, but lately in these videos I've been, you know, revealing more about myself, and I don't normally do that because I'm just in such a bad mood, so I feel like I just need to do a channel update, explain what's going on in real life and all that, some of the other personal shit that's going down at the moment. Just so you guys and girls understand, so you don't think I've, like, gone insane or something like that, you know, and also it's just good. I don't know why, but talking to the camera, even though it's my own face I'm talking to, it's a reflection I talk to, because my uh, I've got a flippable screen, so I can see myself right now, you know. But uh, just talking to my reflection seems to be the best way for me to talk. I don't know why. Like, I couldn't go to therapy or anything like that. I tried that once before. I've done it twice, therapy. 
and uh, one time it was when I was a little kid which is something I shouldn't have even been doing but you know we're not going to get into personal stuff but I shouldn't have even been at therapy there was nothing wrong with me it was other people that had the issue but you know that and then one time I went there and tried to speak to a doctor I like it was 2009 and nah nah none of that I can't I can't do it I can't speak to some random stranger you know because <laughs> I know they don't give a toss about what I've got to say you know they're just paid to do it so that's what bothers me you know if it was someone volunteering to help me fair enough but when it's uh, some dude that's getting more, some woman that's getting paid big money, it just don't feel the same, does it? Because everything they say, you're just like, I, I don't believe you. You're just saying that because you, you're just doing your job. You don't actually care, you know? It's, it's a weird situation. I shouldn't be talking about this stuff now. I should be saving it for the channel update, but <sighs> like never mind. Spot. Let's go find some silicate. Oh, fucking hell. All right, fellas. How you doing? I think we might have to actually get up on the roof. Yeah, I think we have to go through that hole. Oh, it's like one shot. Nice. I think it might be because I've got that bullet penetration there. Because uh, if you didn't see in the last video, I got bullet penetration. And I also upgraded the amount of ammo I can hold at one time. So uh, my weapons are a lot more effective now. But you definitely want to get that bullet penetration. Like, I can't stress that enough. The bullet penetration just feels like an absolute godsend, you know? Like, as soon as I got that talent, everything just became so much easier. Do I climb up on here? Yeah, okay. Here. I should be able to here. Oof, right in the shoulder. Okay. I feel a bit bad shooting these because obviously these are kids, you know. These are kids that have turned into a zombie. I mean, look at that. It looks like the exorcist woman, doesn't it? <laughs> it's terrifying. They're so creepy. And because they're kids, it makes you feel a little bit bad. But at the same time, you know, they are creepy and they are trying to kill me. So fuck them, you know. But still. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on. They definitely are opportunists, isn't they? They don't attack you unless they think you're vulnerable. And when you've just jumped out of a roof, you know, you are pretty vulnerable. You know, you've lost your balance and then they're straight on your ass, isn't they? Little shit bags, isn't they? Well, one thing I do need to remember to do in this video is I need to go back to Wizard Island and I need to, uh, I need to upgrade my gas tank so I can go further distances without needing petrol every two seconds. So we have to go downstairs. Yeah, well, gotta be somewhere. Oh no, there it is. It looks exactly the same as the bag so of yeast I picked up. Work. Okay, now I just gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, we do actually. Don't end up getting lost in here, like I did with that other mission I did. Oh, oh no, there we go. Come on, bitch. Oh, someone yes. didn't know how to park. I've seen people do that so often on YouTube. Oh shit, I didn't even hear that. Got my TV on very low, whoops. Oh great, every fucking freaker in the world is gonna come now. Oh shit, ravens. The ravens are the absolute worst. I fucking hate the ravens. They're, just, they're, not, they're not really too deadly, but they're a massive inconvenience, you know? Especially if there's, like, freakers Sarah, around there? and stuff. I've, um, got the silicate you requested. Corporal St. John, yes, I'm here. I'm in a meeting with Lieutenant Weaver. Corporal St. John? What are you doing another run for me? Uh, I don't know. Um... Uh... Weaver! Corporal, report into me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Is he doing? Hey, Doc. I got you there. This is Corporal St. John. Doc Jimenez. Hey, back. Oh, St. John. How's the arm? Good. Good. Uh, that ointment or whatever it is that you gave me, it's something. Yeah, it's working great. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, so I'm actually just checking in to see, uh, I'll see how well you know. I know him, as well as I know any of the officers. Why? I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm doing some runs for them, for him and Lieutenant Whitaker, and it just, it seems like he's, um, I don't know, he's, he's in her face all the time, and, uh... <laughs> Lieutenant Whitaker can take care of himself. Listen to me, St. John. The Colonel tolerates a certain amount of racing amongst the officers. If I were you, 
I'd stay out of it. All right, Doc. And don't worry about Lieutenant Weaver. He's no saint, but I've met worse. Give me his help. Yeah, Weaver keeps on flirting. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes it seems like, Ella, oh, these bodies are still here. I'll tell you, I mean, I've said this like a hundred times, but I love this. I love it how the bodies just like remain around for a while, you know, because it's just, it takes you really out of the game when you kill somebody and then you walk forward a little bit and then they all just sort of despawn, you know, into the abyss of nothingness, you know, it really takes you out of the game. But when you play the game, you know, you come back after a couple of hours and the bodies are still here. It's brilliant, you know. I suppose it would be uh, very hard on the game if you left all of the corpses of every defeated enemy in the game was just like left on the floor and they slowly started decomposing. I think that would take a lot of like, you know, a lot of memory. You know, it, it would really make the game, it would have to be like a very late generation game. Like we need to be waiting until like 2050 for shit like that, you know. <laughs> Although I swear it happened in Red Dead Redemption 1, didn't it? Like, if you killed Sake in Red Dead Redemption 1 and you left it and you come back later, didn't it turn into a skeleton? Or am I, am I imagining that? I swear it was in Red Dead Redemption 1. I swear it happened. I mean, it might have happened in 2 as well. I can't really, I can't really remember Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, I spent like a good three months playing that game and I've completely forgot everything about it. It wasn't really that memorable to me. I don't know why, because I still love the game. But yeah, I'm just not... I don't know. To me, it didn't have the same feeling as Red Dead Redemption 1. Don't know. It's, it's a good game, like, the, the online is absolute ass for Red Dead Redemption 2, but the single player is sublime, you know. I don't know, a lot of people had a problem with it, but I liked how slow it was, you know, it was very, very relaxing, you know. Especially with the types of games uh, I always play, and I always play on hard yeah. mode, so everything's hey, stressful in, in the gaming before. world for me. But Red Dead Redemption was like, it was just nice. All the way the hell out here. Actually, yeah. Uh, served with the guy from Long Island. Get some ammo. Accent's kind of hard to miss. I'm actually full on ammo because oh, I just looted that police yeah, car. But I thought I'd check just in case. Because even though you do loot those containers of ammo, they don't fill up your ammo completely. They only give you a bunch of ammo. They don't fill you up totally. But once we've done this, yeah, we've got to go up here and listen to uh, one of Colonel Garrett's speeches. Now, uh, if you're playing this, I'll quickly mention this before I talk to uh, Sarah. If you're playing this and you've finished the game, and you're trying to get all the collectibles, and uh, you didn't listen to all of Colonel Garrett's speeches, if you come up here to his tent right there, you can actually pick them up, and they're like little uh, voice recordings that you can pick up, and then you can get all the collectibles. So if you didn't miss any, just come up here. There's also another collectible as well. I think if you click on the teacup or something, it's like a Sarah uh, herbal tea collectible kind of thing. So yeah, they're all up here if you're looking for them. And make sure you make sure you always check around these like base camps because you'll be surprised how many collectibles are inside all these places. You know, can't show you up here because I can't go up there in a moment. But yeah, they're all packed with like random quest-related uh, collectibles and that. So if you're trying to get that trophy, check all the camps first, pick up all the herbs, and you'll be sorted. And the ones that you're missing, if you're missing any of the speeches, just come up here. Just thought I'd mention that in case you guys and girls are having any trouble finding them. But let's go talk to Sarah now. Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? God, get out! Is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What was that all about? <sighs> Nothing, it's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. Thank you. No, don't. What now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit. I, That's what you think this is. I, Everything I, I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit. No. Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's gonna take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... I just... <sighs> Thank... I appreciate...
appreciate your help. I've got, to, I've got to be honest with you, Wolf and Warfare, so I'm getting really pissed off with Sarah at the moment. Really pissed off. Like, the, the flipping journey we've been on, and the heartbreak that Deacon has gone through to finally find Sarah, and we get here, and we are treated like absolute shit. I know, obviously, we're in the army, there's no fraternising, shit like that, you know, but she can at least, when no one's around, show me a little bit of love, a little bit of care, at least, like, you know, at least show a small hint of love towards me, but she does fuck all, does she? Just gives me a bloody list of things she wants me to go and get for her. I'm practically a shopping boy. I just go shopping for her. It's stupid. It really annoys the hell out of me. And I don't hate Sarah, you know, I know why she's doing it, but at the same time, fucking hell, mate. Show me a bit of love. I'm your husband, for God's sake. Just because the world's gone to hell, that doesn't mean our vows don't mean anything anymore. It's till death do us part, fuckers. We're not even dead, Sarah. So, you know, show me some damn love. I really need to get to rank two because I want to get my Tommy gun because it is... Best gun, best gun. You guys and girls might hate it, but I fucking love it. Oh, hell yeah, skill point. See, to get skill points pretty quickly in this area. Oh, that, that, that's... Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to figure out. I'll just grab this for now. I mean, I've got most of the ones I really care about. There are a couple of others, like this one is good. Where it's significantly increased the damage of your weapons. And you've got this one here, drastically reduced the cost of rolling. That's what you really want. They should have called it keep rolling. <laughs> right, uh, I guess we're going to go and listen to him. It's not like a, I mean, I don't know if you have to do this one. He does it, I think he does a speech like six or seven times, but I know the other ones, you don't have to actually listen to them because like I said, if you miss any of them, you uh, you could come up here and listen to them on like a little uh, voice recording. So yeah, I don't know. I think we might have to do this one just because it's like the first time, you know? So let's go listen to his crap and then hopefully we get another mission. Hey John, you there? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm here. This is Lieutenant Weaver. Have you even looked at my requisition form yet? I see you doing runs for the witch almost every day. I'm starting to feel left out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, sir. Polystyrene, you need polystyrene, right? Yeah, that's right, polystyrene. If you're having trouble finding it, there's a wreck truck down on Highway 97, south of Shamo, beneath the water tower. Think you can find it? I'm not... Look, I'll find it, the wreck truck, okay? I'll get you your, uh, polystyrene. See that you do. We've out. Alright. I know where to do that. It's, uh, I think we have to pick up a bunch of polystyrene cups. Because uh, when you uh, get introduced to new items in this game, they actually do start becoming useful. Like everything we collect for Weaver that leads towards this like napalmy thing he wants to create, eventually you're going to find them in the world all the time. So you can use them to create your own things, you know. But yeah, polystyrene, it's always like these little paper cups, like what you get from Costa or something like that. Uh, where is it? I think it's, it's like down in the set. Yeah, okay, it's quite far away. All right, we'll talk to uh, the Colonel. We'll listen to his crap if it lets me. And then once that's done, we're going to uh, head down and try and grab those cups before I have to end the video. I've got 12 minutes, so we should be able to do it in time. But yeah, this is just the Colonel going on about a load of crap. Like, it's not even worth listening to. It's just like a load of weird religious -y stuff that he goes on about. But, you know, we might as well listen anyway. Many of you have been with me from the beginning. Listen to me when I warn Oh, I can skip it. Of God's plague. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now, honestly, though, you're not missing anything. He just talks about a load of absolute shit. There's no reason to listen to him, really. And if you want to listen to him, you can just go onto your collectible bit and you can just replay him anyway. So you're not going to miss him even if you skip him. I'd just rather spend my time doing important stuff, you know, like helping to build a bomb that could possibly kill the Freakers, you know? Not standing to attention, listening to some twat who's decided he's my colonel. Who the fuck put him in charge? Like, seriously, who put him in? Who decided he's the colonel? This, who made this decision? Was he a colonel before this all happened, or what? Name's Caleb. I'm going to refuel because I have to travel quite far away. Yeah, I just rode in. Hey, stop, stop talking to me, everyone. Fuck, I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. I ain't got time to listen to you all. Jesus. 
Right, it looks like we're going to have to go out the back doorway, so we're going to have to drive around the camp. One thing that really annoys me when you do, uh, when you have to drive around these camps and all that, and you've got to go out the other direction and shit like that, is how slowly you have to drive around the camp. Especially in this one, because it's quite a big camp. So look, look how slow I'm driving. This takes like 10 hours to get around the back to use the back entrance, you know? Bloody annoying. Oh dear. But yeah, like I mentioned, I'm recording this on the 18th of June. You'll be probably watching this in July, maybe. Should be July you'll be watching this. And uh, yeah, uh, in a couple of days, three days to be exact, Crash Nitro Fuel will be coming out, the Crash Team Racing remake. And I tell you, not very often I get hyped for games anymore. I mean, I get excited for games, but not, not like a proper hype where I feel like sick to the stomach because I'm that hyped, you know? And Crash Nitro Fuel is giving me that feeling, you know? Pretty much the only happiness I'm feeling right now is thanks to Crash. I tell you, if Crash didn't exist on this planet, I'd be fucked. Like, literally, crashing animals, <laughs> they're the only hope I have for any sort of, like, smiling. <laughs> it may sound depressing, but I'm serious, you know? Fuck, if we didn't have pets and stuff or animals on this planet, and Crash never was made by the legends at Naughty Dog, then, uh, yeah, damn, I don't know where I'd be. I'd be a mess. Hey, John Whitaker, I, uh... Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt, the Colonel's here. I was just telling him how helpful you were. Corporal St. John? Yes. Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. Just doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir. I'm uh, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule. Perhaps with your help. Matt, I told you. The biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a mob. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you and give them to him. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Yes, sir, Colonel. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Sorry, I have to go. Jesus fucking hell, Sarah. You really pissed me off. Give me some sort of love. <laughs> At least acknowledge that we're still Agent, married. This is Colonel Garrett, Wood Park. Yes, sir. Corporal, yes. This is of the utmost urgency. A soldier, an officer, has gone to the Officer. A traitor of the last kind. He murdered two enlisted men and stole a bike from the motor pool. He's been spotted on the South Rim Drive. The stolen bike has a blue tank. Find him. Yes, sir. I'll chase him down. Corporal, bring him back. Alive. Alive, sir. An example for anyone who thinks they are above militia regulations. Who thinks they are above the laws of God. Uh, yes, sir. Dismiss, Corporal. All right, then. This God, they, love, they love chatting in this game, don't they? They love chatting. Ah, here we go. Right, so you've got to be careful here. There isn't any freakers in the area, really. But there's a lot of those stupid ass ravens. Like, I don't know if it's I don't know if there if there's any nests here or if there's just ravens here. If there are nests here, then make sure you bring a bunch of molotovs. But you could probably just run around. Oh god. You could probably run around, grab the polystyrene, and then just roll out of the way. But every time you hear like a squawk noise, just roll because they're dive bombing you. Literally, as soon as you hear the noise, just just run. I think there's like seven we have to pick up around here, but you just got to pick up these things right here. No, I'll try and do it really quickly because I really hate the bloody. Uh, I really hate the uh, the ravens. I don't know where they all are though. When I was doing this on my own, I kept missing one, and I can't actually remember where I found it. It might have been over here somewhere, like behind something. Yeah, it might have been over here, actually. Oh, I, smell a nest. I think it might have been this one, because it was hidden behind the stump. Another nest. Let's go. There's one here, and there should be one in here. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Got that done quickly, didn't we? I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some men out here to get the rest. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. And okay, we picked him up off the floor, but they're still technically on the floor. Look. Look, we looted those cups, but they're still there. <laughs> Get the hell Load of bullshit. A horde comes through. But don't say stuff like that, Deacon. Don't say shit like that, mate. I'll start panicking. 
Right, let's try and get this back to Weaver as quick as possible. Is this leading me back to the camp? Actually, should I just fast travel back to the camp? Oh, actually, look. Should we do this? I've got six minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over here. I've got six minutes. I reckon I can get this done. If I just run in there and go Rambo and don't really bother about being stealthy, I reckon we can get this done in the next six-ish minutes. I mean, it's a bounty hunting mission, so normally I don't do them, but I feel like I need to do this one. If it was like a couple of the bounty hunting missions, I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, Deacon. <laughs> How the fuck did you fall off your bike like that? Like, seriously, that was the little, littlest of tabs. You know, I've crushed my bike into things like that before. Not a motorbike, like a bicycle. I've been going pretty quick and bashed into things like that before at that speed, and I've not gone flying off my bike. I remember one time I was riding my bike, though. I was going down a hill, must have been going about 30 on my bicycle, some fucking moron uh, parked their car up on the uh, curb and opened their bloody car door and I hit it full on and went flying over the handlebars. Wasn't, I didn't really take much damage except my hands landed weird. I reckon if I was lucky not to have broke both of my fucking hands really because how my hands landed it was it was pain but everything else, I was perfectly fine or everything else but yeah that was just it, what a retard. Like how the flipping hell do you not see me coming down a flipping what's it called? A hill at 30 miles per hour. Look outside your wing mirror, you twat. He has smacked into his flipping car door. He was more concerned about his car door than me. There's, there was other people on the other side of the road that were like, you know, effing and jeffing at him for being stupid. Because I was pretty young when it happened, you know, so pretty much he just took out a kid. <laughs> but yeah, fuck me, did it hurt? Well, it didn't hurt me, it was just my hands. I think if my hands didn't land it so stupidly, then I would have been alright. But it's like I was still, I, I came off the bike, but my hands were still in handlebar holding position, you know, so, yeah, I sort of hit the floor in a weird way. Oh, he's gonna drive, oh, shit. Alright, we're gonna catch this guy, and then I'm gonna have to end it for today. We're not gonna have time to be able to, uh, we're not gonna have time to get him straight away. He's gonna be over here, if I remember correctly, and I think what he does is he comes flying past me. So if I set my bike up over here, and then we wait, we could probably get a couple of cheeky shots at him, and then jump on our bike. Make sure you get on your bike quick though, because if you don't, then uh... Actually, have I got any like remote explosives? Nah. Actually, i got a pipe bomb. But if you don't get on your bike quick enough and follow him, it's mission failed. Bike needs fuel. Why? Oh, for God's sake! i got plenty of fuel, I'll be alright. I don't even know if there is any fuel around here. I can hear a noot. I don't know if that was a kid, like, outside my house, or if it was a noot. <laughs> oh, it's a pain in the arse finding fuel. Oh, there's got to be some around here somewhere, isn't there? I'll have a look for some fuel, but if this takes too long, I'm going to have to end this video and we'll have to do this next time. Right, let's have a look. Nope, that's not fuel. Unless there's fuel out here, right near the bloody area. What about that? What's that? I should have, I should have just gone back. What? I thought I bought fuel. How have I used so much fuel? I swear I bought some, didn't I? I fast travelled back to the wizard camp, and then I, I uh, yeah, I, I, should, I should have, some, I should have more than thirty-six percent. I don't bloody know. All right, uh, it doesn't look like there's any fuel around here by the looks of things. No, literally no fuel. Maybe I, oh, actually, there is sometimes fuel in these rooms. No nope, kerosene. Nah, alright. Fuck's sake. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to. It looks like we're gonna have to go back to the main camp and do this next time. So I'll drive back to the next. Uh, to I'll go back to the camp in the next video, hand in the polystyrene, and then we'll come back over here and do this. Sorry about that, Wolf. I bet it's not my fault. The game thinks I need fuel. Probably because this is a long chase scene, but I'm I'm prepared for it, so I reckon I'll take him down very quickly. But, you know, the game thinks I won't, so, you know. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wolf. I bet hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway. Sorry if I was a bit quiet. I tried to, you know, 
talk loud, I've got, yeah, like I said, my throat's messed up at the moment. But hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway. Like, share, and join the pack today. <laughs>